Okay, so I'm going to take this and heat this up. Try not to burn myself here. Get it good and warm. It doesn't need to be glowing hot, but it's got to get pretty good and warm. And the lighter's just about out, about out. That should do it. Just like that. And I'll just let that sit there and cool for a little bit. That was about the third hole up. That might be a little bit more throw than I want, but it should be okay. If I go to the top hole on the control horn, it should be okay. And shouldn't give us too much um, over control. Okay, so now that we've got that through and it's cooled down sufficiently, you can see that it moves freely. I'm going to adjust this, and it looks like in order to be even, it's going to have to come out. So you just unscrew this until it's the right length that you want. And it uh, looks like maybe a couple more turns here. It should be good. Okay, I'm putting it through that top hole. I'm not going to clamp that down right now. I'm just going to let that stay loose because what we're going to do is when we uh, power the thing up, that'll center the servos, and then we can tell better exactly what uh, this needs to be adjusted to. So I mean, may need to take that back out and crank it in or give it a more couple of Okay, so put the other pusher rod on there. So now we're going to move on to uh, the tail assembly. So we're going to get back to the uh, following the instructions. We're going to do the wing last, even though it says that that should be number two and number three. Um, so we're going to skip to number four, number five. Moving these screws and stuff off here. So, move the wing up here out of the way. And it looks like they had it right side up, and they're doing the left hand side first. So, pretty simply goes right in here. Just like that. And those holes line up nicely. And then the other side goes right in here just like this. Same way. And there's a little square peg in there that lines up so that the elevators connect. I believe I got it. Yep. So that when you move one elevator, they both move up and down. So that's kind of neat. So then uh, there's just some screws that go in here. I'll find the screws, put those in. Um, looks like two, four screws. I think I got them. I hope I used the right ones. You know, that's the one thing that I found that I didn't like neither is it doesn't tell what size screws go where. You've got about five or six different sizes of screws. Um, so I may have actually mixed these ones up and it may be these ones that go in there because there's only two of them. So. I may have to take these back out for the landing gear and use those for the elevator. Okay, I did have to take uh, the screws out of the landing gear here. Had the wrong ones in here. Took those out. There was two other screws that were a little bit beefier. So the little bit beefier screws go in here. The ones with the uh, flat, they've got kind of a flat head, they go back here. So screw the elevator on here. Stabilizer. And then you've got these little rods that go in here. In the real plane, these are support rods. Um, in this, I think they're more or less for looks because this feels plenty stiff enough to me to not need these. But we're going to put them in. And these little sockets here are already in place for them. So from the instructions, you just put that in. Looks like I'm going to have to kind of bend it just a little bit and get that one in. So one's in place there. I might go back and put a little dab of epoxy or uh, CA glue on that. And then the shorter one goes on the bottom here. Goes right in like that. Nope. Let's get open that one first. And this one's going to be kind of tricky. Wondered about that. Chose to do this after putting the screws in, but it might be a little easier before you put the screws in. Just don't want to break anything here. There we go. Okay, I finished up those, the installation of those uh, stabilizer bars. 
And I got looking over the um, instructions here, and the next instructions are we're going to go back to uh, installing the wing. But uh, the one, there's a major thing here that they left out. Um, the servo, the servos on the wings need to be connected. It does come with a Y harness here that they put in this bag. But they completely eliminated that from the uh, instructions. I don't know why. So I was looking over the situation. And what we need to do is, we, I think we need to install this Y harness first. Uh, there's, a, there's a hatch on the bottom of the plane here that looks like it accesses uh, the electronics. And there's a opening right here that I'm assuming that the Y harness goes right down through. So I'm going to tuck that right down there. I'm hoping that uh, there's going to be enough room there. I'm going to kind of stick those right here, wedge them in there so that they don't go any farther. Flip this over. We'll open up this hatch and see if we can hook that up for the uh, to the receiver for the servo control for the ailerons. there. Well, looks like we're going to have to do this differently. There's really not enough length on this. So we're going to have to hook this up first and then thread the wires, the servo wires from the wing down through and flip it over again and hook, and hook those up to the Y cable that I got here. So let me hook up this. So this goes on channel 1. We do have a little sticker on it that says where it should go. So we're going to leave that like that. So this is hinged with a piece of tape. That's kind of nice there so you don't lose it. We'll flip it back over. Put the wing in place. And thread these down through. Kind of like that. fits right in place. Oh, that's kind of nice. There's a, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a little clear piece, piece of plastic here that goes to this window that hooks into this here so that, that that's the way that the front is wedged in. And then the back, there are two screws here. So I'm not going to show those. That's pretty straightforward. There's only two screws that fit. So I'm going to flip it around here. And I've got my servo wires down through here. Oh, one of them threaded down through the wrong way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach in there with a pair of pliers. Grab that one. Oh. I had it. Grab that one. Pull it back up through. And we're just going to plug them in here. So this is a white red black wire and this is a uh, uh, orange red brown wire so we do the light color to the light color and the light color to the light color on those I believe these are uh, JR markings and this is used by Futaba the white black red so I'll tuck that back down in there and I'll screw the wing down and I think that's it. And I'm going to plug the, uh, oh, got to put the prop on. Um, oh, no, we do have a couple more steps here. We've got the wing struts. So let me get this on first. I'll screw the wing down. And then we'll come back and do the wing struts and the prop. Okay, the next step is to put on these wing struts. And uh, it comes in two parts. And from the looks of the instructions, this piece goes on here just like this. There's some screws that go on there. Now, I really can't say this enough. These are really thin pieces of plastic, so be very careful when you do these. I'm afraid that uh, I'm going to break them myself here. Um, so I'm going I'm to look this over a little bit more and then put these on. And they come with some very tiny screws here that should, uh, should go in just like this. It looks like it goes through these holes. So this go these 
These go on the outside. That's what I'm guessing. Boy, it's really hard to tell. I'm going to have to look this over a little bit. I'll let you know what I find out, and then we'll put the whole strut on, put it in place. So after looking things over here, what I did is I ended up putting this piece here into the wing, and I'm going to try screwing it in after the fact, just because I'm afraid that I'm going to break these if uh, I'm not really careful. The other thing that I discovered was I was a little bit too anxious about screwing these landing gear down. Um, the strut actually goes up underneath like that, and then the screw goes in there, and these fit in here and are screwed in. And it looks like I got this backwards, so we'll take this out. I'll turn it around here and see if that matches up a little bit better. Those fit in there pretty stiff. So I don't think you have to be too afraid of breaking those. Uh, well, excuse me, the, you're going to have to be afraid of breaking those, but uh, won't be have, have to be too afraid of uh, them falling out. So that looks a little bit better there. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the screws in here and then put the screws in this, and that portion will be all done. Okay, so the last step here is to put the prop on. I already took the prop adapter off. The uh, uh, Allen wrench that comes with the kit fits nicely into the hole for the prop adapter. So simply put the prop on, and it kind of locks into the nut behind it. Put the prop adapter spinner part on here. Loosen it up on me a little. That's it. That should be tight enough. And we are good to go. So the next step is I'm going to power it up, check all the controls, check the motor out, and then um, I have to uh, just adjust the, the uh, uh, control horns and stuff, the, the throws on them, uh, make sure that everything's level and stuff, and uh, then we'll give it a test flight. I'm not going to be able to do it today. It's too windy outside, so hopefully we'll get that on the next video. Okay, after having finished uh, the setup on this and trimming it out the best that I could, I'm going to have to do a little bit more trim on the elevator here. I didn't get it quite trimmed level, but I put the battery in and uh, the control surfaces all work okay. Uh, one thing I did note was that the uh, ailerons were reversed. Uh, luckily there is a reversing switch uh, here on the, on the transmitter. Uh, so that's one thing to keep in mind and to check. Um, right, you want uh, to go right, you want the right aileron up and the left aileron down and vice versa for those of you who don't know if this is your first plane setup. So uh, overall, I'm pleased with this plane. I'm not overly happy. Uh, the main issue that I had with is the uh, flimsiness of this plastic down here and this plastic here seems to be quite flimsy too so other than that everything seems to be pretty good uh, just didn't like that plastic uh, so I guess the next step is to take it out and see how it flies so we'll do that on another day and I'll do a recording